Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank to those who do reach out for those and thank to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay Virgos? I hope that you guys had a good weekend. I hope that you're ready for the week ahead. But let's see what the energy is like today. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. What is the message from their ancestors? Angels and Spirit Guides. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. So you have helpful people coming out. And show me going forward. And you also have forgiveness going forward. Bottom of the deck, you have a yes. And then you also have a situation will improve, but it's up to you. And right behind that, you have big happy changes. But you also have ask your angels, okay? Um... Some of you may be asking your ancestors and angels for some sort of recovery from something, okay? Uh, take that how it resonates. But this helpful people card, I'm seeing like a woman and a child here. It could be a man and a child, take it how it resonates. But it's like the helpful people, I feel like, may not necessarily be people on the 3D plane because all these people around her have wings, okay? Um, I don't know, they're just an earth angel. But we'll see. And forgiveness. What is this for my Virgos? What is help for people? I'm hearing them say something about the details of something. So I don't know if you need to pay attention to the details of something here. I don't know if you're getting the details of something. I also see someone staring at some sort of like I don't know it feels it looks like art so I don't know if you're in like an art gallery or I don't know if you are an artist of some sort here what is this help for people So you have the four of pentacles. What is that? And you have the moon. Show me more. And you have the lovers coming out. Now the four of pentacles can talk about someone who is being, you know, maybe worrying a little bit too much about finances and things like that. Um, it could be saying as well that maybe this is a time for you to kind of, you know, keep a close eye on your finances. But in this deck, you know, the Four of Pentacles also talks about good business decisions. So again, maybe be careful who you're partnering up with and things like that. But it also talks about giving to the less fortunate. You know, so I don't know why it came straight to my head. Like, you know, I don't know, Virgos, if you have like things around your home, whether this is like clothes and stuff or games or whatever that maybe you can donate. Um... But let's see, because you also have this lover's card, which is Gemini energy. But this talks about your, you know, immediate or intimate relationships. It talks about carefully weighing your decisions. And it also talks about, you know, paying attention to your health. Okay. Yeah, the four of air and the moon. I don't know if some of you, are, I, mean, I don't want to say you're keeping it secret. But I don't know if there's something here to do with an illness here, okay? Uh, maybe you just kind of need to take some time out to rest as well here with the moon card and the four of air. Uh, the four of air, which is like the four of swords, can also talk to me about an energy of maybe somebody who is suffering in silence. This is also an energy heavy weighing the kind of pros and cons in a situation that's kind of coming up heavy here as well. It says meditation may provide answers. What does this moon card say? Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes. It talks about releasing fear that holds you back. 
because for someone it feels like something here is you know it's it's going to turn in your favor but it takes for you number one to speak up and stand up for yourself it says do what you know is right three over here and the ace of fire now i don't know if someone here feels like hey if they would turn around and say to me do you know what rising phoenix yeah i you know i really do want to do what i know is right for me but i know that there may be x y and z people that maybe won't agree there may be x y and z people that you know ain't gonna like certain things or you know three of swords can talk about heartache pain sadness that kind of a thing and then because with the ace of wands it talks about a brand new beginning it talks about a new career path. It talks about following your passion, your destiny, what it is that you desire. It talks about changing your life. What is a four there? So, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a, a kind of catch-22 where it's like, hey, okay, you know, because I will probably say, depending on the situation as a friend, I will probably say, well, do you know what? Who do you want to live your life for? You know, do you want to live your life for yourself? Do you want to live your life for other people? I mean, and if you turn around and choose to live your life for other people, then me as a friend in the nicest way possible, I'm going to turn around and say to you, well, then don't complain about whatever comes after that. You know, you made a conscious choice to stay in a place where you're either not happy, you don't feel like you're growing or progressing or whatever the reason may be, then you only have yourself to blame you got the six of fire coming out here and this talks about victory and success it talks about good news is on the way here right it's also an energy of public recognition or rewards coming to you why is the before i move on why is the four of pentacles with the six of fire the emperor okay <laughs> give me one more the five of pentacles you see it, it kind of feels like i don't know if this has to do with a business here right and if it is and you feel like things are moving real slow or you're not earning enough i feel like there's a turnaround but i feel like the turnaround depends on you okay i feel like the turnaround depends on if someone here is going to step into their power with the emperor energy this talks about organization and logic. It talks about somebody who puts boundaries into place. It's also about structure and discipline and leadership. What is the emperor? What's falling in my hands? The eight of pentacles, the night of water, the dream and the ten of air. You, you know, the ten of air, even though it's a painful kind of an end, right? It can talk about betrayal and deception and things like that here. In this deck, the Ten of Air, it talks about it being the end of a difficult situation. It talks about embracing the change and embracing the lessons from a, a, a certain scenario, okay? Um, and it also talks about expecting things to get better now. And it also talks about recovering from an addiction in this deck, okay? Now, it's almost like you have the dreamer. So, I'm going to use it as an example, okay? Don't... Let's say someone here is suffering from some sort of addiction to the point where it's affecting your life or it's affecting your money. Um, it's affecting your motivation. It's affecting um, your mindset. This is someone who, even if, even if they have those addictions, they still somewhere in the back of their mind are very much dreaming about a different lifestyle. It's almost like spirit is saying, listen, whatever it is that you're visualizing, whether you're under the influence or not, those are things that you can have, you can achieve them. But like with the emperor, you have to make a choice. You know, now I'm not saying that anybody who has an addiction or suffers with something like that, again, it doesn't have to be drugs or drink or, uh, you know, it could be anything. It's almost like an energy where spirit is saying, hey, listen, you're going to have to recognize that you're a leader and not a follower. But it's one thing to say that. It's another thing to put that into action. You have the Knight of Cups with this dreamer, okay? And I feel like this is an energy of following your, your heart, your emotions, you know, tapping into those kind of energies here. And then you've got this Eight of Pentacles. 
And the Eight of Pentacles can talk about skilled work or something like that. So again, I don't know if someone here, if there's something that you're meant to be doing, but because of something else, you've kind of put whatever your skill or your craft is or whatever it is that you're good at here uh, on the back burner. Show me more. The Knight of Earth. I don't know if some of you are, uh, maybe allowed a relationship to get in the way of something here. Because the night of earth, it talks about time to buckle down, time to get back and finish what you started. Okay, you know, maybe slow and steady wins the race and that's okay. But at least you're showing some sort of movement. At least you're showing some sort of action here. This is learning to kind of put one foot back in front of the other. It says time to buckle down and get things done. It says honor your commitments. It says a guardian angel. And look at what we have standing over these two people. A guardian angel. Archangel Raphael, to be precise. Anything else about this helpful people? Seven of water. Yeah, okay. I mean, something here could be a very difficult decision. But again, the seven of water, which is the seven of cups, can talk about, you know, to me, someone who may have addictions here. Um, or it can just talk about someone who may be confused about something. It says the need to do research and stop procrastinating. What's the seven of cups? The three of pentacles. Mm. See, the three of pentacles, helpful people. You know, the Three of Pentacles can talk about working together, collaboration. Uh, in this deck, it also talks about the power of creativity. So, again, getting back to those crafts, getting back to the things that you love, right? Um, like I said, even if it is slow and steady, it's about the movement here. It's about not staying stuck. And then this Three of Pentacles, it talks about recognition for high quality work. It says be a team player and you already have the Six of Wands out here. So I feel like it it looks good. Or at least there's a possibility for it to look good. Yeah, eight of cups at the bottom of the deck with the Empress energy. Damn, I don't know if someone here has to walk away from someone they have children with. I don't know if this is about, you know, maybe somebody pulling back and not necessarily listening to a parent or something like that. Um, eight of cups, desire to move on. Maybe someone wants to go towards a divine feminine energy, or maybe you need advice from a mother, but let's see. What's this Eight of Cups? This talks about emotional growth, spiritual growth. It almost talks about the Eight of Cups going on that journey to discover what is your wish for fulfillment, because that's where it's going towards, the Eight of Cups. And I'm hearing they're screaming in my head, learning to love yourself. Page of Air. Page of Air can talk about news that is very much challenging. I don't know. I'm hoping that this message here today doesn't trigger anybody, okay? Sometimes the truth hurts. Um, but the Page of Air can talk about, you know, delays or changes in plans. It can talk about the truth delivered without tact, okay? What's this Empress? So we saw the Emperor already. And we have it landing on the Six of Wands. And this talks about renew. It says review of the Empress at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> um, it talks about renew and evaluate. It says a favorable assessment of the facts. It says time to move in a new direction. Mm. Clarify this Empress and the renew. The two of fire and the ace of pentacles. Or well, the ten of air and the seven of pentacles. I hope no one here didn't get trapped by somebody with a baby for financial reasons. Okay. Um, someone also could be realizing that maybe someone was just around for finances, but what is this forgiveness? You have the chariot. So this is moving forward. It also talks about an important achievement. It could be moving forward after some sort of truth comes out here. Okay. Um, again, this energy with the five of swords, you've got a queen of wands energy out here, but I, the, this makes the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords can talk about an energy of intimidation. It can talk about lies. It can talk about gossip with the Five of Swords. It can talk about someone who will say anything, do anything to get the outcome in a situation. Now, so for someone, it's making me feel like whatever truth or something that comes out it could very well be painful. But the Chariot talks about self-discipline. It talks about, again, this public recognition for some of you. 
I also see somebody wanting to go somewhere. I see somebody sitting in their car pondering. Pondering, should they go in a certain direction? Should they go and see this person? I don't actually see them going, but I see them thinking about it. What's a chariot? King of Air, I was going to say, you know, I was looking at the clock and I'm looking at the seven and I'm thinking, are we in July yet? And today is the 1st of July. I mean, someone could reach out to somebody this month that they've been wanting to reach out to, though. Show me more. Landing on the three of pentacles. Oh, we have the three of air. This is sadness. I told you I felt like something here would felt sad. It says take time out to heal. It says the need to forgive yourself and others. And we have forgiveness here already. I also see somebody feeling guilty about moving away from a child or children or a home that maybe you lived with a child or children here. Show me more about this. The two of pentacles. Yes, yeah, making a choice. A complex decision. It landed on the Seven of Cups. This Two of Pentacles talks about too much going on at once. Again, this energy, the need to make a decision. There's a lot of pushing where spirit is trying to push someone. Hey, listen, you need to decide whether you're going left or right here. I also feel like spirit is putting somebody through some sort of tests in terms of, hey, have you learned certain lessons? It says, consider a more playful approach. So if someone here was afraid to reach out to someone and, you know, kind of break the ice or whatever it is, it could be somebody new as well for some of you. Spirit says, you know, maybe try a playful way, you know. Page of Air with the Three of Air. So we're still getting the Four of Swords energy. Page of Air can talk about challenging information. It talks about delays or changes to plan, truth delivered without tax. So I feel like we just got that card a little while ago. So show me more. Hmm. There is something coming out though. What is this forgiveness card for my Virgos? Balance and the two of water. Someone's been waiting for a perfect time to kind of come towards someone and it's either have some sort of peaceful resolution here. Or somebody's been waiting to reach out to someone that maybe they feel like they have a certain amount of feelings for. But I can also see the Two of Cups as a partnership. It's not always just about love. So we have your energy coming out here. The King of Pentacles. Mm. What's this King of Pentacles? The Seven of Air. Now, the Seven of Air can talk about strategy, planning, right? Maybe someone here is doing something in silence. Or uh, the Seven of Air can also talk about a liar, a cheat, or a thief, okay? Again, this energy of more going on that meets the eye and things being poor timing and maybe someone here in their head or having some sort of regret about some sort of betrayal, whether you did this or whether it was done to you, you know? I kind of feel like we've got a similar message in terms of forgiving yourself in the other ancestors and angels message but i'm not 100 percent sure they're playing frozen <laughs> i mean i know someone's name could be elsa or anna but they're playing let it go i can't hold it back anymore here I am in the light of day. So I don't know, has someone been in hermit mode? Uh, there's, they're telling me the bit where she says, let the storm rage on. So again, I, I don't know if this is about, so it's kind of giving the five of wands. Okay, I don't know if there's other people involved in this situation, but uh, they're giving me the bit where she says, let the storm rage on because the cold don't bother me anyway. Hmm. What's this seven of air? What's the seven of air? The ten of pentacles. So I don't know if this is about family, money. What's the ten of pentacles for the seven of air? An 
an ego. This Ten of Pentacles talks about a very happy family life. It talks about financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And then you have this ego, but it feels like someone here may be stopping themselves with this ego and pride energy. Um, oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. They said, hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't know, I'm seeing, I'm hearing Kevin Hart now. I don't know if someone here is short, a comedian, or just funny. Um, but the, this ego card is looking at the Ten of Pentacles. And when I read the words, it says a false sense of entrapment. So I don't know if someone feels like they're trapped in a family situation. Or I don't know if this has something to do with finances. They feel like maybe they don't have enough. But it says being overly focused on material things. It says negative or fear-based thoughts. Give me one more. Why the seven of air? You have awakening. Landed on the six of wands. So someone here is seeing that, you know what, damn, maybe it's a situation or a person that you dismissed or overlooked or whatever, right? I'm hearing don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. Um, but I feel like someone here may be seeing something from a different perspective now. With the awakening card, it says look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary I feel like that's the key word here. Temporary standstill. Since it's important to be yourself. So now you see something from a different perspective, okay? Spirit says, put your ego and pride behind you. Forgive yourself. Approach the situation lightheartedly. And then what's the outcome? Possibly. <laughs> what's the outcome? Possibly. I am actually seeing the other deck. Oh, what's the outcome possibly? You do have a Queen of Hearts coming out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I said a Queen of Hearts. I meant a Queen of Cups. Same thing. It says, what, what's the possible outcome here? Whether it's a water sign or not. Okay, it says relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. And you got the page of water at the bottom of the deck. With the Nine of Pentacles. And three of wands with the ace of wands. Yeah, someone's definitely visualizing something. Maybe you need to pay attention to whatever it is that you're visualizing. Because someone here could definitely be in this energy where they're just like, you know what? Nah, that will never happen. They will never forgive me. Hmm. Spirit says, I guess you'll never know. <laughs> What's the energy here, Spirit? What do we have for Virgo? What do you want to tell Virgo? You have followed the path that is right for you. <laughs> yeah, it says use love and strength and discernment. Look at this where I was saying, I don't know if someone here is worried about family, friends or whatever. It says I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. It says if pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. So it makes me feel like I'm talking to a chosen one. I don't know whether you see yourself that way or not. But it says God will lead the way. But this woman in this car looked like she getting signs and synchronicities, but she looked like with her head kind of down, she's still doubting something. So that would make me kind of feel like I want to say then maybe someone here is doubting the most high, but take it how it resonates. So it says, follow the path that is right for you. It says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Hmm. Anything else? You have faced your future with boldness and strength. It says, as soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. And one more. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have acknowledged God's truth. It says, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I think I want to take it. So let's get a message from your higher self. I'm just going to get two cards of advice and then that'll be your reading, Virgos. Give me a message from Virgos' higher self. From Virgos' higher self. Thank you, Spirit. What's the strongest energy here?
You have Grumpy Wizard. <laughs> Says release your anger safely. I feel like you had this card come out the other day. You got Fancy Fat Fucker. Make sure you're not overeating here. I'm hearing emotionally eating. Yeah, I don't know. And then you have this fucking Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> So with that Mercury retrograde energy, again, you know, for some of you, this could be a certain situation that is arising. Maybe this is from the past. Maybe this is something you thought you were over, but it's coming back again. And usually if it's coming back again, there's a reason for it. So Grumpy Wizard is a number 20. It says release your anger safely. It says for fuck's sake. Look at the blessings you already have around you. It says, be thankful that you're still breathing. It says, isn't that enough? Or are you like a grumpy wizard that can't be satisfied? Learn to be grateful for the blessings in your life. Otherwise, you're going to end up a fucker who nobody likes. <laughs> it says, release the hidden anger so you can be grateful again. If you destroy your surroundings in anger, you need to spend more time addressing the reasons why your anger faces dangerously, why your anger surfaces dangerously. So I don't know. This is I don't. This is not going to be for all of you, okay? But it feels like someone here has a temper, but it feels like whatever you're lashing out on or whoever you're lashing out on is because of something that is deep-rooted in you, something that you haven't addressed, possibly something you want to address. It says you can then begin to release it safely and put steps into place to remove it into lighter situations. It says be grateful for any lessons in your life. It says it's also necessary to release any anger into light. Anger can hide a lot of other emotions behind it. It says there is sadness, frustration or irritation lying underneath. Dig deeper and find all the emotions attached to your anger outbursts. Be thankful for what you've already been given and release any anger safely by punching a fucking pillow until you feel better. Yeah, don't be punching a nobody, okay? Don't be getting yourselves into trouble here, Virgo, okay? The devil's a liar. It says, questions to ask yourself. What anger am I holding on to? Am I afraid of my anger? What relationship do I have with anger? Is it uncontrollable? Or do I hide it away to manifest later as illness in my body? I see, and I was saying I didn't know if someone here was ill, but I hope not, you know, especially not due to anger and stress and depression and things like that. Affirmation, it says, I choose to safely and lovingly release and eradicate any and all anger from my body that is holding me back from my highest purpose. I am clear. I am calm. I am in a peace. What else? How do you want to end this reading for Virgo? How do you want to end this for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Mm, okay. So one way of releasing that energy is feel like what I'm seeing from the bottom of these cards is, you know, again, get back into your creativity. What lifts your vibrations? What makes you happy? Helpful people. Do you have people that you can trust? People that you can reach out to, that you can talk to? People that you just feel good when you're around them? Could even be your children, animals, whatever. <clears throat> Anything else. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have get your power back. It says, have you forgotten who you are? You are a child of the divine. So take back your power. I'm going to need some sort of crystal healing or something. So the first one that came out, it says, take control of your thoughts. It says, your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. You have it's time to play. It says you're working too hard and worrying about everything. It says seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life.
Virgo. What do we have, Spirit? <laughs> what do we have? The world is yours, Virgo. <laughs> Show me more. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Wow. Look at this. Let's go. The world, and I was just saying, the world is yours, Virgo. And now Spirit is saying, Virgo, where do you want to go? Get in the chariot. <laughs> so you have a number 36. Okay. Or well, the number 63 could be significant, but it boils down to a number 9. So again, that energy of the wounded warrior. Getting up, dusting yourself off. Yeah, maybe, you know, the nine of wands, that wounded warrior does look back to the past. But if you're going to look back to the past, just look back to say, do you know what? I learned the lesson from that. And then focus on going forward. It says be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. And then you have a number six. Going forward is going to bring you success. It's going to bring you victory. And I'm hearing it's going to bring you peace of mind. Because I'm hearing that Lauren, is that Lauren Hill? Lauren Hill song? I got to find peace of mind. Hmm. You have charge ahead with confidence. It says stay strong and focused. So Virgos, that is what I have for you for a message from your ancestors and your angels and your spirit guides. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.